Welcome back guys. Today we're going, what we're going to be going through is testing our solid states before we actually deploy them into a, our, our environment. And we're going to be using uh, Vagrant with VirtualBox and uh, Kitchen uh, eventually. And this is going to be a multi-step um, process. So we'll be going over multiple videos just for the testing setup as well as the, as well as the configuration. Um, before I continue though, I would like to thank Viva Hernando one. Uh, he said in maybe half of my videos, my volumes are really low. I did not notice this uh, in my in my post editing, um, probably because I just naturally turn my my volume up. But I did not realize that some of you may not have very high uh, volume speakers or or so on. And I'd like to thank Viva Hernando one for that. Uh, in preparation to this. Um, I have gotten a headphone that attaches to my Blue Yeti mic, and I have set up the configuration on my mic so I can pick up my voice easily. I've also uh, learned a few tricks that can help on the post editing process, to, or sorry, on, on the post uh, video recording process to help with the um, help with the sound as well. So I do apologize if in the past videos that you haven't been able to listen to me very well and. A lot of that is also due to my speech. I tend to mumble a lot. It's an unfortunate uh, habit of mine that I really need to break. Um, but, you know, it, I, I'm trying to work towards it, and I do appreciate uh, you guys going through and trying to listen to me. Um, I also, again, like to thank Viva Hernando one for that comment. Uh, constructive comments, uh, reviews like this is always helpful. It helps me prepare for what I need to do for you guys because you guys are my audience. You guys are, are are basically my customers so uh, please do leave if, if you have anything uh, against my videos or against my style or, or so on you know like let me know and then I can go ahead and try and improve it or at least work with you and try and improve what I'm doing so um, please uh, uh, go ahead and comment on whatever video you know contact me and, and let me know all right thank you um, so with that said and done we're, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and set up Vagrant, uh, first thing. So we'll set up Vagrant, we'll set up a VM, and then afterwards we'll set up uh, Kitchen Salt. If you've used Chef, you probably heard, have heard of Kitchen. Uh, Kitchen is basically an environment, or you, it's basically a, a virtual machine constructor that takes your salt states, in this case salt states, and applies them to your VM, and then it, thus when you apply them, you can go ahead and, and um, you can go ahead and test out your your salt states before you actually even uh, use them at all, uh, or sorry, deploy them on the on the main infrastructure. So it's always a good idea to test your um, test your salt state code before you deploy them to make sure that you don't break anything. Also, this is sort of like a um, this is sort of like a pre test or not pre test. It's more like a, a pre deployment test. We also want to do integration tests. Um, so if you have heard of, ever heard of test infra, we're going to be using, we're going to be using test infra to go ahead and set up and test our integrations. Or start, sort of, let me repeat that. We're going to be using test infra to test our infrastructure to make sure that they are following with what we have written on salt. Now, the test infra API rather is entirely written in Python. If you don't know Python, it's fine. You don't have to know too much of Python. I, I will teach you what you need to know in order to work with test infra. Okay. Now, this is very far down the line. This is like sort of maybe eight or nine videos in. So we're not going to go into test infra anytime soon. So you don't need to worry about that. If you want to learn Python on the side, you've got plenty of time to pick up the basics and all you really need are the basics. Okay. So with that said and done, let's go ahead and get up to set up Vagrant. Uh, I'll be breaking up these videos. I need to actually set up timers, but I'll be breaking up these videos to make sure that um, the videos don't last too long. And then you can go ahead and take a break in between and start to pick off with multiple sessions and so on. Okay. So the first thing you want to do is you want to go ahead and download uh, Vagrant. So if you go to vagrantgroup.com or sorry, vagrantup.com, uh, into getting started index.html and they'll have a, a getting started link here and you can go ahead and look at the please install the latest vagrant version of vagrant link and so on. 
this will bring you to the download page. I've already gone ahead and downloaded Vagrant and installed it, so I need to go ahead and get into the up and running stage. So please go ahead, pause this video, download and install Vagrant on your OS. And I'm on a Mac, so if you're on a Mac or Linux, this will be easier for you to follow. If you're on a Windows and it isn't as easy for you to follow, please let me know in the comments because I don't have a Windows machine anywhere in my house. So please let me know and I will spin up a EC2 Windows machine, try and get this to work somewhere and, and, you know, work with you to make sure that your setup is exactly as it should be as how I want, you know, as how we need it. So with that being said, uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and uh, go ahead and run through these steps. Now, the first thing I want to go ahead and uh, mention is that some of these steps, actually all of these steps, are, are steps for Ubuntu. We are not running Ubuntu on, at least not on my AWS machines, they are not Ubuntu. They are, in fact... Uh, Sent a version of CentOS, which is Amazon Linux, because it's free. Uh, Ubuntu is also free. We could have actually done it in Ubuntu uh, had I prepared for this. Actually, that's my fault. Sorry about that. But this, you know, sets us up. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and use um, we're going to use uh, CentOS instead of Ubuntu. So if uh, I'm going to go ahead and pause here, um, I'm going to uh, find a proper uh, CentOS uh, Vega machine and then and reconstruct the instructions so that it can work with that. Okay, so I did find a CentOS 6.7 machine that is uh, almost equivalent to our Amazon Linux machine. Our Amazon Linux should be based off of these CentOS 6.7 machines anyways. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and use these rather than the uh, Precise64 that the Vagrant uh, documents suggest. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, save this link and I'll put it on the description uh, when I post this video. So you can go ahead and ignore this part. Um, and I will save that link here. All right, so these are my description uh, useful links. Always keep notes. I have, I have a bad habit of not keeping notes. You should always keep notes. Uh, I do apologize for that as well. All right, so the first thing we want to do is we want to get Vagrant up and running. So Vagrant in it, and then the name and so on. But instead of the HashiCorp Precise64, we will be using the, um, excuse me, we will be using the Bento Cento 6.7, and we'll also use Vagrant up. It's basically two commands in one. So let me go ahead and do that. Um, now I will receive an error. Um, if I just copy and paste this because I'm running fish shell, uh, you most likely will not be running fish shell. You're probably running bin bash. So you can go ahead and copy and paste that, no problem. But I need to put this and uh, statement in between, otherwise I get this error. All right. So I'm gonna go ahead and pause here and then wait for this to finish. Um, oh, wait, before I even do that, I need to go ahead and set some things up. So it says a vagrant file has been placed in this directory. You are now ready to, ah, uh, unfortunately, I do not want the vagrant file to be in this directory. So let's fix that. Uh, I want my vagrant file to be in the directory. So, okay, so let me go ahead and explain um, the, the testing structures. We want to be able to, able to test the individual salt states as well as all of the salt states. So uh, what I want to, I'm going to go ahead and place this vagrant file in the, in the, um, excuse me, the environment that I want to be able to test. So first, for now, I want to be able to test the base environment and then I'll have another vagrant file for the dev environment and another one for the, for, uh, for prod and so on and so on. So, but let's go ahead and stick to the base environment and we'll, we will place this vagrant file in the base environment. So let me go to my base environment. And, which is base. And I will go ahead and paste that here and put my add statement and so on. Oops. All right. So now we get this error. It says no usable default providers could be found in your system. Uh, Vagrant relies on third party system known as providers, uh, providers such as Virtualbox, Hyper-V, and so on and so on. Uh, if you believe, then Vagrant up provider equal provider, which, 
we have specified and I have installed VirtualBox. So let me go ahead and make sure why I'm not um, receiving the VirtualBox provider. So, oh, maybe I haven't installed VirtualBox, let's see. Okay, so now that we've got VirtualBox installed, again, apologize for that, I thought I had it installed. Um, Let's go ahead and fix this error to see if we run into anything again. So it creates the Vagrant file, fine, so on, it already exists. Uh, run Vagrant in it before. Okay. So we don't need to run the Vento box anymore, we just need to run the Vagrant up provider virtual box. So let's see if we run into this error. All right. We do not, so it looks like I didn't actually have a virtual box installed, unfortunately. Um, this video is coming up to be a little long. I believe it's already been 10 minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and pause here, and then on the next video, I'll have virtual box installed, uh, and we should be getting ready to go from there. All right, thank you.